I'm so good at video games. <laughs> that wasn't the secret at all. Was the secret back this way? Yeah, yes. it was. Watch I out for giggles. This guy, so hey, you I've did it. I avenged you. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. Oh no. You done did the thing. The thing done. Did he done it? And I got a friend box. Yay! Friends forever. Birds are until not they get hit by a bird. Or bees. I'm not gonna go for that. That's not worth it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I deserve that for laughing earlier. Uh, my favorite Resident Evil 4 is still the GameCube one. The original? Yep. Uh oh. Nope. I needed Aww. those birds. Who would have thought? Oh, Shima, I'm so sorry. The original PC port was awful. Keyboard aiming, yay! Uh oh, I just muted myself, and then I unmuted myself, and a bird hit me. My uh, microphone has a very fussy mute button, so my controller cord brushed against it, and it was all over. Oh no. Of all the things. Wait, I thought I heard a donkey. Oh. The friend was in your mind. Imaginary Diddy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> exactly as intended. Oh wait, no, I don't want to go down to the bottom. That's right. Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll go in the middle. Break even. Boing. Boing. Oh, too bad Tanner's in here. Tanner loves rhinos. What's everybody's favorite animal? Um, I've already claimed rabbits, so too bad. I don't know, you might have to fight Val for rabbits. Uh-oh. Um... Crows. Crows are my favorite. Crows are fantastic, and they're so smart. They are. I like when they're in the yard and they, they caw, caw. Oh no, why am I back here? Oh, hey, that was well done. It's like I'm learning. Could dedicate this video to Tanner. Yeah, Val and I will share liking rabbits. Oh, that's so nice. Everybody can get along. Oh, hey, oh. look at that. Secret. Kong. Kong down, John. It's okay. Corvids are a fantastic family of birds. Like ravens, blue well, blue jays are really noisy. Jackdaws, magpies. Oh, jackdaws are actually oh, interesting. I think so. My best best friend's an ornithologist. I should ask her. Oh yay! I remember this. So much fun. Come on over here, bouncy Kremlin. Look at he's just partying, and he just stepped on his head. That's how I party. Stepping on heads? Yep. I'm great for crowds. Alright. Gotta make gonk. Coon! Coon. That works. And on that note, raccoons are adorable. Coons are also pretty cute. Someone's cat, though. I don't know enough animals. No. BK64, would it be more bearable with co-op? Oh no. That's okay. Your more bearable? It's completely in vain. Yay! Oh man. I hit the B with it. Thanks, B. Is there actually co-op in Donkey Kong 64, or is that just nope. a barrel dream? A barrel dream. I'm sure I've ranted about Donkey Kong 64 in one of my own streams. That stupid beaver bother game is broken. Ugh. It seems to bother Never gonna you quite a bit. Never going to get all the bananas in that game. It's horrible. 
That was kind of a disappointing barrel. Yeah, very lackluster in its shooting power. I think D minus. Yay! Oh! oh. <gasps> Do it! Get fish all bread. the mini fish. Everything in DK64 is broken. <laughs> I like that. Ooh, three. Stupid there's gonna phone. be there's gonna be a one and a four. We're gonna go crazy looking for two. Maybe I should talk about DK64 while I'm flying around, well, swimming around, gathering these tiny fish. Really, swimming is just like flying in water. That's true. Unguard hype. What is there to say about DK64? Oh, good, good music in the game, but oh man, there's just. Like, I, I can put up with collect-a-thons to a point, and I like rare, but there's just too much stuff to get in that game. And having to, you know, it's arbitrary what you can pick up with what Kong. Oh, that's just silly. Yeah, you did it! Double the fish, double the fun. Unless you're allergic to fish. In which case, I will eat double the fish. Double the fun for somebody. Yay! Look at look at Unguard here. That's a little. He's looking at the camera like. Mm. Okay, buddy. What have you done to me? You know, I think the fastest speed run for a hundred percent completion in Donkey Kong 64 is nearly seven hours or something. There's just so much stuff in that game. Oh no, my foot. <laughs> Bees. Oh no. What will we kill you for? <gasps> You're not a huge fan of Banjo Kazooie. That's that's okay. I mean, no, Jr. Tell them your thoughts on Mario Galaxy. Um, I I really didn't enjoy Mario Galaxy. I forgave him for it, so if I can um, forgive him for that, I'll forgive anyone for Banjo Kazooie. I just thought that the controls were really awkward when you're doing the planet topping and running around. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a hater. Gasp. Well, nope, it's a good, it's good. It's a good. It's a good. Wasn't going for a Mario impression there, but why not? Hey, it's a good. I won't do that anymore. It's almost as bad as my English gentleman voice. <laughs> Professor Layton, I am not. I'm glad, because see... Professor Layton is terrifying. I love Professor Layton. Oh, Cog. Cog. Oh no, it's his Gears something. of War. Mario Sunshine was usually I like getting everything in Mario games, but... Oh. Wait, there we go. But Mario Sunshine... Did we just high-five the air? Uh, yes. I, I think we did. Wait, there's a secret back there. If I barrel this? No, if you jump across the gap. Bird oh. friend. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I hope your haircut is totally fly, Shadow Mark. Good luck, Shadow Mark. And yeah, Val, you need don't let, games. Don't let anyone tell you what style you should have. But don't go to Silent Hill either. Okay. Well, that could have gone worse. You high five to Snowflake. <laughs> hey, oh man, really? Why did I. Mm, I just hit the side of that, bounced off. Too tiny for secrets. You were like, here, bird, have this barrel. And bird was like, no, I'm allergic. Bird rejected my offering of barrel. Okay, fine. I didn't want to be friends anyway. Nice. Ah, oh. Not nice. We we're doing so well until you weren't. Funny how it works that way, or doesn't. Don't you tip after the haircut, though, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> so hey speaking of donkey kong and hair i don't know if any of you have seen the well i'm trying to think of a good adjective to describe it but i won't the donkey kong country animated tv series because that <laughs> i was laughing at the tv series by the way not no not, it's okay not that I deserved it anyway. but uh there is an episode where King Carole gets the idea to cut Donkey Kong's hair, like, um, what's his face? I think Samson in the Bible, where he gets all his strength from his hair for some reason. So he cuts Donkey Kong's hair, but what was disturbing is that, you know how Donkey Kong has a little curl of hair on top of his head? 
<laughs> right. just flew off there. Ah, uh, yes, I did. It was flesh. Did. It was solid flesh underneath. Like, there was a flesh curl oh. on his head. I'm just going to vomit everywhere now. Whee! I've got to get off for the friend barrel. These are not friend barrels. Oh. So he just has, like, a little flesh lip? Yep. That's horrifying. I just thought I'd share. It seemed relevant. Maybe somebody can even find the episode on YouTube. I'm sure it has, like, a stupid pun, like, Bad Hair Day or something as the title. Nice one. Yes. It's all about doing it right. And he didn't fall down a hole or anything. Hooray! No, I wanted to exit the other way. I had to jump on this igloo to celebrate. Take that, somebody's house. Yay, horned cat! Shima Donkey Kong has like a, a rub. Well, his hair was cut in the cartoon show, and his there was just a flesh curl underneath. Not a completely smooth bald head. Like you see where he has a little curl of hair flesh. here. That's not just his hair. Absolutely horrifying. Let's do this. I ain't afraid of no squids. Oh, I think uh, I think Morgan is muted. I'm, I'm not muted. I'm here. I was just thinking about the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Oh. I mean, it had musical numbers, for heaven's sake. It was weird. Oh, yeah, it There was did. some episode. I can't even remember the context where Diddy is rapping about something and there's sad clown faces in the background. <laughs> I wish I could remember the context. I really don't. I really want to watch that show now because it sounds just intensely bizarre. I'm pretty sure it's also... It might, it's either Canadian or French. Like, it was... I think Nelvana helped produce it, and I think they're French-Canadian, so... Good job, Canada. Yep, so proud. There's a really weird disco number with a, uh, in King Karul's lair where there was some kung fu fighting Kong that had been hired to take out Donkey Kong, and and Clump and Crusher are singing the falsetto backup vocals. I think that was probably my favorite song in the series because of dopey it was. Oh, you're right, Epic Taco. I do need to change the name of the stream. I'll, I'll do let that you do that because I'm level. too busy fleeing from squid. Well, not squid. Octopus. Cephalopods. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that while you are taking care of business. Spinning. Spinning. Donkey Kong's too good to spin, apparently. We're just going to lose video for a moment. Apologies, everyone. Oh, time to do something really stupid while nobody can see it. I'm sure I had my opportunity and I blew it. <laughs> oh, no, I did it! I Yay! Did it. Just in time. Now everyone can enjoy. Okay, button mashing. This is the most fun part. I'm so proud of being Canadian. We are a weird people and proud of it. Damn right. I mean, damn right. A. A. Uh oh, I missed a thing. Nope, nope, it's good. Oh. Nope, it's not good. You can go back if you want, or you can go forward. Too late, too late. I'm sure it wasn't that great of a thing anyway. It was probably just pain and death. Probably. Maybe like an N or something. Let's make king. Mig. No! My foot. Got you right in the toenail, the most painful place to be hit. Oh man, that's horrible. Oh good, she was apparently going to link the uh, Donkey Kong Country TV series. Oh it's yes. Definitely worth experiencing. I think it's the uh, YouTube annotated series too, where people basically just post millions of annotation comments over the video, and it's usually hilarious. Oh, like Nico Nico Doga. Maybe. Oh, that's that's like. Japanese YouTube where people can superimpose their comments on the video. Oh yeah, I actually remember seeing a few videos from that and they're like they're just scrolling across the screen constantly and it's very yep. disorienting. That's the one. Oh, Hi no. shark. Bye shark. Hey, a little Japanese lesson for you. The Japanese word for shark is same. It's spelled like the word same but pronounced same. 
There's no, a pun yeah. in there somewhere. Probably, but I can't think of one. Somebody, somebody more pun inclined at the moment isn't fleeing from squid. The word for octopus is taco. The word for squid is ika. No, that's t t a k o, not yes. a t a c o. Although I wonder how octopus tacos would taste. Uh, probably pretty good because octopus is just delicious all around. Very true. I would always feel a little bad when I eat octopus. Just a little. A little bit. I don't think I could ever catch fish or hunt. I'd feel horrible about it. I just imagine you apologizing profusely to whatever you've killed. I probably would. King. Yeah, that's how I feel too. King. 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 That's true. <laughs> Japanese people are not as weird as French Canadian people. I think everybody has their own special brand of weird, and I like that. Hello, Squawks. You're too tiny to ride. But he's so cute. One more game. Whoa. Sorry to anybody in the stream. Seizure warning, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'll try not to turn left too much, but it may happen as I reposition myself. Though, did anybody else ever try and pause the game when the light was facing the camera directly so you'd get a white screen? I think I managed to do that one time. It's one of those things that I keep doing even though- oops, that's right, I can't even roll into Crush Up. Oh. I would keep doing it even though it would give me a headache. But no, it must be perfect. No! No! Nah. Why are there spiked tires in here? This is the one you should have been using in yeah. Armageddon. Like, jeez. Not those wimpy tires that keep popping off at the slightest provocation. I like that these spin on their own too, they don't even need an engine. This Why is, is uh, G over here? This is a little bit strange. Okay, I'm gonna try not to turn to the side too much. I'll try and just stand in the middle and do this. Nope. I'm sure it's fine. Half I the time it drops the frame anyway. Well, I don't think I even have the other letters. Nope. Oh, Daze doesn't like squawks. Well, okay, I guess Liz. it's. We're, uh, we're good. No more, no more bright flashing lights. Wow, we have surpassed our previous file at this point. Uh, I think it's another treetop level. For some reason, up in oh yeah, the frozen treetops. Makes sense. Not really. Don't worry, Liz. It's the only level in the game like that, so you'll be okay. Whoa. Secret! Wait, there is a secret down there. See it? Uh oh! Hello, Cuddle Squid. Hello, Cuddle Squid. I am Miss Mori in the chat. You can call me Mori or Morgan or Hey You, shut up. <laughs> Although I would prefer maybe not the last one. Yeah, jumping on bees. Thank you so much for pointing out that secret to me, by the way. You're welcome. Now we got a frog friend, although Winky is a little fussy. Cuddle Squid's a good name, I have to say. Damn, he launched. Come on. All this reptile hate. Well, except for the one we're riding on. Well, he's an amphibian, I guess. <laughs> Man, hey you Pikachu, I had that game. So, Pikachu is still my favorite Pokemon after so many years, but I did spend a lot of time getting really irritated at him. There was a level where Bulbasaur is making stew, and you have to go out and get ingredients for it, and then give them to Magnemite. So you'd, you'd pick up, like, a carrot or something, and then say, okay, give it to Magnemite. But sometimes Pikachu just wouldn't get it. He'd stare at me. Sometimes he'd just eat it. Like, what? This this one radish in the whole garden? What you need for the stew? No, I'm just gonna stuff it in my face. And then I'm gonna look at you like it's all your fault because it's disgusting. <laughs> you stupid rat. And apparently the game manual warned if you called him a rat, he'd get really mad. But I tried to call him a rat when I was really irritated, and he'd just look at me like, Pika? Yeah, you're just pretending not to understand. Don't give me that sass. Playing stupid. Well, stupider. 
No, he's probably more cunning than he lets on. Whoops. That was uh -oh. not cunning This is at all. not a good situation to be in. This is great. What are you talking about? Okay, everything's fine. There were bees, everything's Dang fine. Dang it. <laughs> I jumped right into that Kremlin's blood. I mean, not like that, but um It's all you, Morgan. <laughs> Hello, duck boy. What is everyone's favorite Pokemon? Pikachu is my favorite. My other favorite, probably Crobat. I love Crobat. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Torchic. Torchic's pretty cute. Kung Fu fighting chicken. Heck yes. Um, here's another one. Oh yeah, Mudkips. Mudkips are really cute. It's the mud starter that I went with when I first got Pokemon Sapphire. That shows how much I know about Pokemon. I just choose the two starters. Oh, well, I think it's okay. <laughs> no, that was... I'm going to blame Pokemon. And yes, Earth Machine, favorite Pokemon, everybody. Golurk is, Golurk is pretty cool. I really like ghost, ghost types in particular. Ghastly is pretty great. Ghastly. Does anybody get a shaman and name it Chia? Because they look like Chia pets. Sakura, you have good taste. I also like Butterfree. I always have one in my party when no. I play blue or leaf green. Just cuz. Hey, I'm back. Butterfree and a Beedrill. Yay, Beedrill! Oh my gosh, I should have jumped. I can't believe it's Butterfree. Oh, totally worth it for reading that pun. That's so Whoa. bad. Oh, that's Whoa. even worse. Did you get hurt twice? That's what it looked like on my end. I missed the first time, but then the second was dead on. My personal favorite Ooh. of the ghastly line is Gengar, however. He's I got was so feet. ecstatic. I finally got a link cable many, many years later, and I was finally able to get a Gengar. I'm gonna I'm gonna not talk about Pokemon for a bit so I can jump over these bees. One bee. Just one. Two B continued. Okay, we're good. Yeah, you Should can tell this is where we haven't practiced. What are you talking about? We're professionals. Pretty soon oh, I'll be man. able to say I stream for a living. Really? Not really. Ah, uh, maybe someday. It's the dream. Soon. Two frogs. Clefable is great. Also one of my staples in Leaf Green. Ooh, I want to mention uh, Zatu. As one the of the bird awesome that looks Pokemon. like it's seen some things, man. Yes. Oh, I don't know. I always read it as Audino, and I didn't get the pun for a long time. Also, hey, you want to fight a beaver? Here you go. Um, I guess I don't have a choice. Whee! It's okay, Liz, if you only know the originals. There's no judgment here. Yeah, Shaman is an adorable flower hedgehog that looks like a chia pet, except when it doesn't. Hey, good job! Yay! And crushed by a banana. Take that, Canada. Oh, great. Well, here's the worst world. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> oh no, industrial town. Never actually had a wheezing. Maybe one of those these days. I, I don't know what to nickname it, though, and I'm very fussy about nicknaming. Pardon me, all my Pokemon. Big farts? Never let me nickname Pokemon. I will keep that in mind. Yeah, tint. Oh, well, oh, you're not tinting your hair. Goodness. Oh. oh, I was supposed to use it on the oil. What? What is Audino's French name precisely? I do really like the music here. If nothing it else. Is, it is good music. Wait, secret to your left, I think. Maybe. Yes. Oh, wait, this is this is the one dumb bonus stage where you want to get a banana. Is it? Because if you get three bananas here and nowhere else, you get a barrel that you can use to break the wall on your right and get into another bonus stage. Oh, my goodness. If only I had known. I guess we'll just have to suffer with this. Not even a life. life. <laughs> Uh, Everything was so broken in Gen 1. Poor three ghost Pokemon. 
all touted as being the answer to Psychic's dominance, but except they were all part poison, so Psychic murdered them dead anyway. I didn't need that barrel. Didn't have a friend in it. I never like psychic types that much. I've tried using them. I tried using an Alakazam and Diamond. But she just didn't work out. Uh oh. Non may we? If I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I'm sorry. I used to be good at French in elementary school. I'm pretty sure its Japanese name was Tabun, uh, T B or T A B U N N E, which is like the word Tabun in Japanese, which means maybe. So it's stupid puns all around. Secret friend barrels. This guy's not a friend barrel. Yeah, bugs were supposed to be the answer to Psychic, and they weren't. But that's okay, I still beat up Sabrina's Alakazam with my trusty Beedrill turnip. Thanks, monkey. Eh, perfect. Take that, wall. Mm, Dragonite's kind of cute. I mean, they look doofy on purpose, I think. Derpanite? Oh yeah, there was a rhino back uh, there. I don't like this. Get Is it rhino. down this hole? I don't remember. He's somewhere. Probably need a barrel. I think I think he's down a hole. But which hole? Is it the next hole I encounter? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Nope, it wasn't that hole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we know. Wasn't it Taboo is the villain from Smash Bros. Brawl without the N on the end? This is a friend barrel. Taboo is a jerk. Stupid insta-kill <laughs> attack. Oh, that is not the rhino hole. No, I gotta remember that. Don't quote me on that. Not the rhino hole. Isn't is this the... the rhino hole? This is the rhino hole! Yay! It was all worth it. Isn't Boo <sighs> the, um... The noise that pigs make in Japanese? Yes, I believe so. Which is just the most adorable. Really cute. I think a lot of Japanese onomatopoeia is pretty cute. I'm trying to remember all my animal names for my Japanese class now, but it's been a while. You know the important ones. Taco. Mon monkey is Saru. Don't know what gorilla is. Maybe it's just Gorira. Gojira? Gorita. Oh no, it is Gojira. Donkey Kong is Godzilla. <laughs> Godrilla. Yeah, I, oh. Why did I duck there? I thought I could save myself. His barrels. His strength is barrels, his weakness is barrels. It's almost poetic. Thank you, Sakura. I will remember it's the first hole after the save barrel. That's the rhino hole. Everybody remember it's the rhino hole. I'm gonna try not to lose my rhino right away. Knock on wood. Knock on monkeys. Sure would like instead. a friend what friend barrel. Friend werrel? A werewolf friend? friend? Here. Wish I didn't have to get off the rhino to break the friend barrel, but okay. Just for you. Why can't he just poke it with his massive horn? Cause then I might gore you. That would be horrible. That'd be hilarious. A oh, bit. that's great. A little bit. Oh man, here's the tricky bit. Yeah, it goes one, two, three. Yay, floating tires. Uh oh, I think I did it too late. No, we're good. Which I feel the need to mention over floating oil barrels that conveniently catch fire and then extinguish themselves in a predictable pattern. Oh. Cog. Somebody should really clean up all these oil barrels. I don't know very much Japanese at all, Cuddle Squid, if it makes you feel better. I've only taken, like, a first level class. Oh, I'm basically a preschooler. Ah, oh, heck. Are you ready for fun with a capital F? Possibly a capital U in there, too. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. Didn't need that banana bunch anyway. Hey, Rosencrantz! Welcome to Hi. the Agent JR stream! Hi, Rosencrantz! 
This is my friend Morgan. Hi, I miss Mori in the chat if you've ever seen me before. But now I'm, not, I'm lucky enough to play games with Agent JR so you can all hear my terrible voice. You have but... a lovely voice. I don't know oh, what you're talking you. about. Oh, it got to my head and I jumped into a bird with my big yeah. inflated head. Are they the same oil barrels from the original Donkey Kong? That's a no. good question. That was totally worth it. Yes. Totally worth it. I did it. Nobody's cleaned up those oil barrels. They've just been sitting here since Cranky Kong's days. This whole area is a health hazard. Who even designed this track? What is its and what purpose? Is it, what is this purpose? Yeah. This is not my beautiful track. This is not my beautiful bird. Hang on, how did I get here? Okay, I'm not gonna... Semi-quote Talking Heads lyrics now. Have fun with pizzas, Grums. <gasps> Go, Grums. Be a pizza master. Be a pizza man. Take that little bird. And you big oh. birds are next. I'm glad somebody started singing the fun song. Down here in the deep blue sea. I always space out and forget the lyrics when it's I'm called upon to remember. Whoops. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. I could roll off and get it, but... It's not it worth won't. it. Not until you get this uh, checkpoint, That's right. No, wait. No, can I? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Can Is I do this? Is still going to be there? Maybe. Scroll down, camera. Yes! How the heck did you do that? Also, congratulations. Physics. Thank you. Well, where are you going, Track? You are out of control. Eh, good enough. F is for the fire that burns down the whole town. U, U is... is for uranium bombs. <laughs> and is for no survivors. Yeah, Plankton had no. the best. No Yay. survivors like me. It's fine. We didn't need to survive. Nah. Wah! Random speed ups and slowdowns. Not cool. Oh no. Oh, we didn't oh, need double anyway. nose. Oh no. All right. Good thing that was you, because I can't jump on clump. Too big. Oh no. Bird is just right. I was too busy giggling internally at clump. Oh no, he's gonna clump oh. you. Oh, oh no, oh no. Maybe clump don't jump when Diddy's on the... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Clump don't jump when Diddy's on the... Dance floor? Yes. <laughs> Why did I do that? That was the most foolish way to go about things. This is a great way to go about things. We got wrecked. I haven't seen Spongebob in a long time. Since it got less than stellar, I suppose. I just can't bear. Yeah, it's sad. It'll always have a special place in my heart. I think one of my favorites was the Halloween episode where uh, Nosferatu comes out at the end and he's flicking the light Nosferatu. switch. Nosferatu! That one? The, yeah, the hash slinging slasher. Aw, oh, good memories have killed me yet again. Eh, worth it. Ng. Ng. Me too. No. Don't have time for your sassafras barrel man. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Oh no. No, not Crusha. Oh. Crusha from Russia? Did Krusha from Russia? No, I don't even know what accent that was. <laughs> oh no, Venom's gonna do it. Venom's on the prowl. Let's go, Venom. I haven't actually seen either SpongeBob movie. Am I missing out? Ah! Okay. Unsure if you screaming or Beaver. Um, that oh. was totally the beaver. Definitely. Oh. 
I like the indoors song from Spongebob. That one rings pretty true for me. Donkey Kong, calm down. Donkey Kong. The first one was okay, but apparently the second one is not worth it. Here comes the sassafras, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay, it's all on you. I can't jump on this guy. He just laughs and then flings himself into the void. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, it's good. It's good. Life is good. Exit. Especially when we're alive to enjoy it. Yay! Chocolate! chocolate! I remember chocolate. Chocolate. He was from Joyzy. Oh. Ooh. Oh, you missed out in Spongebob, Val? I mean, did you have any other cartoons that you were go-to? I personally am a big Powerpuff Girls fan. I'm kind of fussy about the cartoons I watch, because if I don't like the animation, I can't do it. I think that's fair. That's kind Probably of a big a draw fussy. of cartoons. Ah, it's like, it's like I can't read a comic book if I don't like the art. Those snakes do sound like sizzling. They're actually bacon snakes. Mmm, delicious. How did they get a hold of Donkey Kong when oh, he's on an well adventure? Then. On the Donkey Kong! Digimon, <laughs> heck yeah! Tamers is my favorite <gasps> season. Oh, there's a rope up there. Is there... Oh, no. Can I do it? Come on, Diddy. You gotta believe! You gotta do what? You gotta believe! He believed. Oh. Banana! Oops. That's right, there's a banana at the end. I was gonna spell the word with bananas. Tamers is on Netflix? What in the hooza? Uh oh. Or and so just... Morgan disappears. <laughs> it's just is this just American Netflix though? Oh, that's a good I know point. our selection is not the same. Oh man! Bacon snake got me. No. Wait okay, for brilliant. It. I also keep that in mind. Val is a fellow Canadian. Yeah. Bye, guys. Good stream. I'm off to watch Digimon now. Yeah, we Canadians always get the lower end of the hockey stick, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, so that's sorry. Terrible. Oh no! Ah! No! no. Okay. You outran ran that nut? I don't actually know what that is. Yeah, projectile nuts. Oh, that's, I'll keep that in mind, so if I try looking for Digimon Tamers, why can't I find it? I'll keep it in mind it's bundled up with the rest of Digimon. Okay. I understand that there are bees here. What?! You did. You uh, you understood that bee before it hit you. Oh, I see. This is the part where I die. Ah, oh, come on. Just like that. Ah, uh, nobody nobody saw that. Don't worry, guys. It's good. Uh, Netflix is different in Canada, Cuddle Squid, because of licensing issues. So we tend to have a different selection of shows than the states, and it's usually regarded as inferior. Not always, but sometimes. Yeah, most of the time it just ends up with us missing out on things. Because they're like, oh, we don't want to license that for Canada, so screw you, audience. I seem to recall, I don't know if it's on there now, but looking for a Canadian TV show on Netflix Canada, and they don't have it, but American Netflix does. That's redonk. So if anybody wants to watch Murdoch Mysteries, which is really good, you should oh. go on Netflix America. My mom loves that show. It's really good. Crabtree is my favorite, but they're all really good characters. UK always gets it better. You guys have swankier accents, too. I mean, you're used to Midwestern boringness. Everybody's accent sounds pretty swanky in comparison. 
Redonk a Donkey Kong. There's gotta be a secret down there. Gotta be a secret. A beecret. Well, that was worth it. What kind of beecret was that? That's BS. <laughs> Get it? Aww. Wait. The beecret will save us. Yes! I'm gonna stop saying beecret now before I get kicked out of here. Good. I was I was really on my last string there. She says beecret one more time. She's out forever. Also, my voice is really deep and gruff for some reason. Because you're so angry. Oh. The world has mistreated you. Metal Gear. Whoa, birds can fly? Oh, God, what what's is this? this? Some kind of monkey. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, no. No, that wasn't cute at all. Rip.